Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. It just recently reopened. If you're not aware, it was housing the NBA for a while, but now it's opened up to us regular folks. So I got a reservation at Rick's and we're just gonna hang out and check out the resort. I love it here. It's got some beautiful views. So let's go do this. I'm not quite sure what is open. I know that Rick's is open because I was able to grab a reservation. I've seen some photos of three bridges, but we're, like I said, we're just gonna explore. Maybe we can go all the way up and just get a look at the view because this is a beautiful day. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna actually start at the Grand Destino Tower and then make my way down to Rick's. But I absolutely love this resort. I remember tracking the progress of the construction for probably months and years before it was actually ready. And now look at it in all of its glory. It's always had such an amazing smell in here. And I just love the way this resort looks. It's beautiful. These lights change on the column. Oh, I actually miss this place. It's good to be back. And without doubt, I would say it has probably the prettiest check-in area out of all the Disney World resorts. Doesn't it just look so stunning? And those lights all change. Like on Christmas time, it gets green and red. And then they have an amazing Christmas tree here in the lobby. The Christmas tree is usually like right down there. And you're not going to be able to see it, but underneath us is a lounge that serves like beer and cocktails and even some coffee. So we're going to go down there and see if that's open yet. Looks like the lounge is open just for coffee and quick snacks. The whole entire like full service bar is not open yet. And it looks like it's open from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Just basically like breakfast hour. And you can get all of those special coffee drinks that I was talking about before. Oh yeah, I've had plenty of these and they are very delicious. So basically it's just running as kind of like a breakfast quick service location. 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. This was always one of my favorite places to kind of just hang out and have a cocktail or uh, a coffee at the end of the day. I'm sure it'll get back there eventually, just, you know, in time. And hopefully in time for Christmas because usually they have a massive Christmas tree that's right here that goes all the way up. And it's a great spot to just come listen to Christmas music, look at the lights, and like I said, have a like coffee or a cocoa or beer, but light. Now we're gonna see if the elevator is gonna grant us access to the 16th floor, which is the top, because they have a restaurant and a lounge up there that has stunning views. But I don't know if it's open or if we're allowed up there. I mean, if we hit 16 and it takes us up, we have been granted access. If not, then that's a no-go. I also like the elevator situation here at the Grand Destino. All right, let's see if we're gonna be getting access. 16. Ooh, I think we we're granted access. Look at that. We're going all the way up. You raise me up. That was actually the fifth floor. I feel like a fool. You raise me up so I can see the 16. And we're up on the 16th floor. It looks like it's all closed. I don't think we're open for service yet. It just seems so strange that we're allowed up here. Here's the lounge. This is what I was talking about. Wait till you see these views. I wonder if these doors are even locked. But like they're set up with all their signage and like their social distance markers. Yeah, see? So they're definitely expecting to open if they're not already open. Let's just give it a tug or pull, push. Oh. <gasps> It's open. That's good stuff. Oh yeah, awesome. Oh wow, I've missed this view. Look at this guys. Beautiful up here. I'm gonna give you basically a guide of all of your sightseeing from the top of the Grand Destino because there's a lot to take in here. First of all, we've got Epcot and Spaceship Earth and the Swan and Dolphin. And then to the right here, we've got the Tower of Terror and all of Hollywood Studios and even an amazing look at Galaxy's Edge right there. And then you can see the water park and even Expedition Everest. Look at that. I think that's like the best view of Expedition Everest you can get, really. Can't do any better. Oh, you can actually see the floating mountains in Pandora from here too. 
that's really neat. I'm gonna have to talk to a cast member when I go back downstairs to see if this is actually open because it normally doesn't open till four o'clock. So I don't know if it's not open yet because of the closure or if it's not open because it's not four o'clock yet, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna get some answers. Because boy oh boy, let me tell you what, if it does open at four o'clock, I will definitely come back one of these days and just hang out here because like I said, this is like one of my favorite views out of all the Disney World resorts. I mean, you know, the top of the contemporary is up there because you get to stare at Magic Kingdom, but you get Animal Kingdom, you get Hollywood Studios, you get Epcot, and you just, it's kind of just beautiful with the whole trees and everything. It started to get a little bit windy out there, so I came back in, but can we just appreciate how beautiful this lounge is? Just look at how cool the furniture looks and even the light fixtures. I love it in here. I love all the lighting they put in here and the bar stools are actually very nifty. All these great photos of Walt himself. This has a lot to do with the actual hotel. And uh, I, I, when I first came up here and seen this, I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing. I absolutely love it in here. I would actually show you the inside of here, but it's kind of partially blocked off. So I don't know if I'm allowed in, but I know I'm probably allowed up to this part. So I'll just give you a look-see. This is a beautiful restaurant as well. Like, look at that up there. Very nice. I remember coming here opening night. It was so beautiful. Well, as fun as it is up here, I think we're gonna head back downstairs because it's also kind of creepy that we're up here all by ourselves, and I thought somebody would come out, maybe say hi, but I don't think there's anybody on the 16th floor with me here. Oh, actually I hear the elevator. Nope. Nope. Just me. All right. Let's go. Lobby, please. E. E is for the way. That was magical. We're going to head on over by Rick's, but I think I'm going to walk outside. I like the fact that they have this walkway and you can walk through the old lobby, but it's just beautiful outside. So we're going we're gonna to walk by the water. Isn't it so nice? This is a much better little stroll than actually going through like, you know, the covered walkway. That's, that's very handy if it's raining, but not on a beautiful day like this. Something else just kind of registered in my head. I have not seen one single guest. Maybe I've seen one, but this is like seeming like kind of strange actually. Like I had to think like, am I supposed to be here? It kind of feels like I'm walking around in a bandit resort right now. Normally, I would definitely see people walking up and down out here, but like I said, this is just so strange. We'll definitely have to make our way across there. It looks like Three Bridges is open. I mean, I don't know. We'll check it out, but we'll also check out the pool area. I see the water's running, so maybe that's open too. This is just a beautiful resort, a massively huge resort. If you can't tell, like all the rooms go all the way around this lake. And they actually just added this little part right here uh, and the restaurant or the lounge where you can walk across the lake, but you used to have to travel all the way around. But first, let's take a look inside first, you know? I like this area. This is like original Coronado Springs for me. This is, uh, you know, this is what it was before the Grandestino Tower. And I came here plenty of times and just hung out, especially at night when they turned these lights on. The Laguna Bar was always my spot. Very, very cool here. Ah, and Panchitos is open actually. That's awesome, right? This is one of my favorite water fountains as well. I like the little pineapple. But this place, this used to be the main lobby area. And last time I was here, they didn't have this little thing here. But this is really cool, isn't it? This is where you used to check in. Oh, and then also a little hidden Mickey up there if you can't see it. I don't know why I'm like showing you a resort that has been here for a while, but it's like seeing it with fresh eyes when it's been closed for a while and you get all excited. Like I get super excited. <laughs> Panchito is actually guarding the 2020 March. You know, it's buy one, get one free. So yeah, he's definitely doing a good job. Keep it up, my friend. We're gonna move along. This is where I have a reservation. I would love to see if Three Bridges is open. I mean, I'd grab a drink and a snack at both of them, but wow. Oh, the Rick's Cafe's not open though. Huh, so I wonder 
even if I can get into the sports bar where Rick's is because uh, my reservation isn't until 2. Oh yeah, it's open, but the marketplace is actually closed. That looks so beautiful back there. So we're gonna actually hop in real quick. We're a little bit early, but looks like they have plenty of room. Now the screen might be going on the fritz here, but this is the menu. They got some burgers, some appetizers, some sandwiches, a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Ooh, and there's the hours. Wow, that kind of like went perfectly. So this is where everyone must have been. They, they're all over here at Rick's. And they got some amazing beer here. Of course, I gotta go with the Rick's Red. I'm so excited. I absolutely love this beer. Look at that. Nice frosted glass. This is the spot. This is such a delicious beer. How many of you guys ever hung out at Rick's before? I mean, I, this is always a popular spot. I remember walking past here many a times at like 10 o'clock at night and it is jam packed. So like, I know this is like a favorite. If you stay at Coronado all the time, you've definitely visited Rick's once or twice. I just found out that Three Bridges is actually not open until four o'clock, but at least we know it is open. So I'm gonna get myself some lunch here. And they said, that they actually make the tenders in-house. So I decided to get the fried chicken tender basket with waffle fries, you know, just to give it a test. I mean, if it's not just like the regular Disney chicken tenders or chicken nuggets, I gotta try them. This really is such a delicious beer. I know I've said that before, but it's exclusive. It's the Rick's Red. Ooh, thank you. Here it is. And look at those waffle fries. They look fantastic. I'm not a big fan of coleslaw, so no thank you. But I don't know. I think this is uh, this is gonna be pretty good. I'm not sure if these are actually breaded in house, but I have to say they are definitely different than the normal Disney chicken tender or like the resort chicken tenders. So I'm gonna dip it in some buffalo sauce, a little natural hot sauce they call it, and uh, give it a go. Oh yeah, definitely not your normal Disney tender, but very very delicious. The sauce is really delicious. Definitely a little bit on the spicy side. I like it though. Good with the fries and the chicken. I just finished up at Rick's. Like I said, the chicken tenders were pretty good. They were just, you know, chicken tenders. Uh, I don't know if they were actually hand breaded there, like as a special item, but they were different than regular Disney chicken tenders. And the sauce was really delicious. So it was actually enjoyable. And I always love my Rick's Red. So. Now we're just going to keep moving along. I want to cut through three bridges and check out the pool area. It's just really nice actually walking on the bridge here. Because you're like, you know, it's, it's pretty. You're surrounded by water and water fountains. Good views. But it must be really tough if you get stuck and it starts raining and you don't have an umbrella. Oh boy, can you imagine? If it started raining right now, I'd be taken off like, oh no! Or once if it started raining while you're right in the middle. Look at the tower from here. Isn't it beautiful? Looks like we got a little rain clouds coming. I'm glad I knocked on wood. It'll mark me safe for the moment. Here is three bridges. Like I said, it's not open yet. They said uh, four o'clock it opens up. But I would have loved to come over here. I really love the food that they have here. And I love like just hanging out here on the water, drinking some beer. It's a really cool atmosphere. But now we're gonna head on over to the dig site. I love that pool area. That's one of my favorite pools, actually. I don't know if I can like say it's my favorite because uh, Beach Club Pool is definitely my favorite, but this one comes in at a close second. Well, the pool is definitely open and so is Siestas, the pool bar area. You know, I always said that Coronado Springs has the most places where you can get drinks and food. And even with the restrictions now, they still have the most. Like, that's unbelievable. I think you can even order food out here too. And yeah, they are still serving food out here. So you can get like the fried shrimp and the pretzel bites and the chicken tenders and stuff like that. That's really good to know. Like I said, they definitely have the most food options even with all the restrictions and then any other resort. And definitely the most lounges because you can always say they have Rick's, then they have here you can get a drink. And then you can also get a drink at the Dolly Lounge uh, if that opens at four o'clock. And also Three Bridges. So that's amazing, isn't it? They also have one of the coolest water slides. This pool is definitely up there as my favorite pools. I love it. 
And with that, I think that's going to do it for me here today. My glasses are really falling down my face there. Ooh. Anywho, it's nice to be back at Coronado Springs. This is such an amazing resort. And right now, it just seems like it's an amazing empty resort. So I definitely will be back here to enjoy some cocktails with the sunset eventually. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. No way, guys. Look at this. And now it is pouring out. We missed it by like 30 seconds. If I just was 30 seconds sooner, I would have made it to my car without even having to worry about the rain. Now, we're just gonna have to run for it. Is this the only way? Oh yeah, it's a Bruin! <laughs> I really think I know when I need to leave. Look at this, holy moly.